Drexel University is not known for its school spirit or rowdy fan bases of its powerhouse athletic programs, and this is a knock many prospective and current students have on the school. I decided to explore this topic and find out the biggest issues of why Drexel fans don't get that hype for some of our bigger sports and what the impact of missing some of those sports, like football, has on our school. I decided to poll some students about what they think the biggest problems are with their school's athletic spirit, and one of the most consistent complaints I got is the lack of a football team on campus. Football is easily the most popular sport in the United States currently, and is a multi-billion dollar industry that Drexel is happily withdrawn from. Surprisingly unknown to Grand Mountain students, Drexel did previously have a football team from 1892 until 1973 when they had to shut down because of funding issues. With the hype around Temple's football team earning national praise this year, many people were wondering why Drexel would w want to try and remove itself from something like that. To the dismay of many Drexel sports fans, President Fry put an end to any Drexel football fans' aspirations. President Fry responded in his Wall Street Journal essay saying that only 20 of the 130 teams in Division I are running a positive operating margin and that he is happy without a football team. President Fry isn't wrong in wanting to save money to improve the education standards in other sports, but in my opinion, he is missing another big aspect of the addition of a football team. Teams that show success on the field can have great effects on a school's admission numbers and college rankings. These effects can partly be described by the Flutie effect. In 1984, Doug Flutie led Boston College to a huge upset win with this play. Over the University of Miami and Boston College saw a raise in applications of 30% for the next two years. This effect also has been shown to happen with examples like Northwestern's 1995 run to the Rose Bowl and the Florida Gators' dual football and basketball championships in 2006. Admissions don't only get affected by underdog stories though. Consistently ranked teams saw a spike of 2.5% when they were ranked and averaged 8% to a team that would make a championship run. This may not apply to Drexel because we would most likely not be a top tier team, but I imagine any program at all would look better than the none we have now to a prospective high school applicant looking at her school and to the current student population who would love to go out to a tailgate for a Drexel football game. There's also another argument that says that tailgating and the party aspect that football brings would lower the overall grades in the student populace, and it may be true in some cases, but it is also true that the partying and tailgating also increases graduation rates.